top water blow up. Ooh. Little one, little one. Oh yeah, first fish right there. He's freaking out. Oh. Get in the boat, baby. He just fell through a net. Little bitty girl. First fish of that freaking yak. I'm so pumped. Let's get some more. How did he fall through that net? Yeah, the hole right there. Damn, that's why. Don, that's probably a good four and a half pounder. Oh, yeah. Big fish. Up shallow. Pop it over a little stick and just... And there she was. Let's get a picture of her. Measurement, weight, and we'll release it. Let's get some more biggins. Yes. Got a Samondo today. When I get home, link up that picture. Best Monday I've had in a while. Because I went to go fishing. Tomorrow's gonna be even better because it's Taco Tuesday, and then we got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and we get to go fishing again. Wow, that kind of sucks. Well, I don't mind fishing in the rain, but I'm not going to fish the lightning like that. I'm not that big of a scoundrel. Let's flip a coin real quick. Let's see where we're going to go fishing anymore. Heads, fish here, tails, we'll go to somewhere else. In his tails, we're going somewhere else tomorrow. So, I'll see you guys in the morning.
Enjoy your night. Stay out of the lightning. I'll see you in the morning. I'm supposed to be on the lake by now, but I overslept. We got an hour and a half. Let's go. Good morning. How may I help you? Uh, yes, can I get a sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle? The meal? With a medium iced mocha coffee? Did you say McGriddle? Yes. And you said you want an iced what? Iced uh, mocha coffee. Oh, an iced mocha? Yes. Is that medium as well? Yes, ma'am. That's it. on is I got a little drop shot yeah, kind of a little Carolina rig and then a 7 inch smash tech with a little underspin swim bait black and blue jig with a little mad pack of craw and a it's a booyah chartreuse Colorado blade spinner bait we starting out throwing that it's got some fish in it they've been stocking it so uh, let's see if we can get on some of them what do you think sounds pretty good to me let's go do it Gotta get fired up here for these fish. Just got a little spinner bait tied on, with a little sartreuse Colorado blade. Gonna be throwing it up off this dam. Oh god. First cast that new new reel is nice. I'm not used to that. Still on, he's still on. Stay on there, baby. That wake. Oh yeah. First fish, that didn't take too too long. On the spinner bait. Off the dam, came up kind of shallow. Not bad for this lake. This lake's coming back. It was a little puddle a couple years ago. And there we go, we got one in the boat. Let's get after some bigger ones. Let's get some more. Put that aside, I'm gonna throw this jig around. Just kind of drag the bottom, pop over these rocks. Just a little black and blue, so. Oh. I'm swimming off the little noise there. Come here. Top of the mouth. A bit bigger than the other guy. They got some pretty, really orange fans on them. Real pretty. Nice little one. Let's let him go. Go back into the wild there, buddy. I'll link this down a little bit. Another little one. On the 
Carolina rig. Ouch. Got this freaking blister right on my thumb. It hurts everything I do. I'm gonna stay here and kind of this 10 foot of wire seems to kind of be where I'm catching them. And uh, hopefully get on some bigger ones. See you, brother. All right, that's fish number three there. I just changed out the GoPro battery. And I was gonna talk to you guys real quick. Um, everything I've been catching has been about like 10 foot of water, so I'm gonna kind of stick to that 10 foot and kind of up towards the bank. There's a big, I'm sitting about 15, 20 feet out from this dam. And there's a pretty good drop off and there's quite a bit of fish out there. And I got a freaking right on the thumb where I, I spool whenever I cast and then you just put your thumb on the spool. It's irritating the heck out of me right now. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick to about 10 foot of water and uh, keep throwing that Carolina rig around. That was like my maybe my second cast of that Carolina rig, just dragging the bottom real slow. And uh, hope I can catch some more of those. It's kind of fun, but it'd be nice to get on some bigger ones. Let's get back to it. Better one. Stay down. Oh. Come here. Get in the net. Shoot, bringing that through the brush. It's the biggest one of the day. You ain't, <laughs> you ain't real, real big at all. Biggest one I've caught today. He's not even. 14 inches, he's like maybe 12 inches bigger than the others. Send him back. There he goes. Quick catch, quick release. Bringing the jig through this brush and that thick stuff. Well, that's it for me on the water today. I am beat. I brought no snacks. So I'm starving, have like no energy. All I had was that little McDonald's McGriddle or McMuffin, whatever you call them things, with a with a syrup in it inside. So yeah, I'm pulling off water. Caught a uh, early starting off, caught that fish on a spinner bait, and uh, I think it would have killed it really this morning if I didn't show up so late because uh, it was still windy and pretty cloudy, and then the sun started coming out and didn't. Catching that fish on that main kind of forage I cut the fish on was a craw, black and blue. They've had a lot of rain, so the water's pretty stained. Caught them on that craw. Had cut several on that. Had some get off, quick release style. And uh, caught one on a Carolina rig, baby brush hog. So, yeah, I had a terrific day on the water. That's it for me guys, signing off, signing out. See you later. Hopefully we'll be catching some bigger fish.